Hey everybody, welcome to the All Clemson Tigers Baseball Show. Field of 64 is released and we now know who the Clemson Tigers will be hosting in the Clemson Regional. I'm going to give you all the lowdown on that, let you know the game times and everything coming up in just a moment. Before we get down to business, I need you to help me with a little business. Please <clears throat> click on your subscribe button if you haven't already. Please give us a like on YouTube. Leave a comment if you can as well. It would really help us. We got a ton of great coverage coming for you here on the All Clemson channel. So we want you to be a part of it. We want you to subscribe. Uh, big week in Tiger Town with the uh, Clemson Regional. So you need to keep up to date with everything going on. Uh, please help us out right now by hitting that subscribe button. Now, let's get down to some business. Clemson <clears throat> is not only hosting, Clemson is the top four seed in the NCAA baseball tournament. Uh, it was announced last night that the Tigers would be hosting. And then we found out uh, just a little after noon here on Monday, Memorial Day, that Clemson would be uh, the fourth seed overall. That's a very good draw. This is the uh, you know, champions of the ACC. The Tigers went 43 and 17 on the season. Uh, they won 16 consecutive games en route to winning. Uh, the ACC Baseball Championship, their first since 2016, <clears throat> and their first under first-year head coach for the Tigers, Eric Backage. What a phenomenal year the Tigers have had, and they're rewarded for it with a top-four seed. So congratulations uh, to Coach Backage, what he's done with this team in year one. Who is coming to take on the Tigers? I got it for you right here down at the bottom of your screen, Clemson. Uh, number one seed in their own regional, obviously. Number two is the Tennessee Volunteers. That's going to be fun. Followed by number three, uh, the Charlotte 49ers. And finally, fourth, Wimscombe will be coming to town to take on Clemson on Friday. Game one of the regional. The Clemson Tigers will be on the field at 1 p.m. at Doug Kingsmore Stadium. <clears throat> Again, we're going to be having all kinds of coverage of this all weekend long at allclemsontigers.com and here on the All Clemson YouTube channel. So please make sure you keep up with everything going on. We'll have it for a fully staffed event this week. Now, these teams that are coming here, what kind of draw did Clemson get? I personally think it's a pretty good draw. Uh, I think, you know, with the, with the fourth seed and Tigers advancing <clears throat> so deep into the ACC tournament, getting to the semis, winning it all, and winning 16 in a row, I'm not surprised they moved all the way up into this fourth position. I think they were very deserving of it. <clears throat> I think they've got a great opportunity here to um, work through this regional, advance through this regional. Uh, but you know how the NCAA tournament is. It's never easy. I, it's a little bit different, though. I, I think back to the last couple of years when Clemson was hosting. Uh, one year it was, it was Oklahoma State. It was one of those feisty Oklahoma State teams that you remember if you fought college baseball for a long time. Uh, they just were a gap hitting team and they just they just made great defensive plays and found ways to win. Uh, and then you think back to when Vanderbilt came to town when Clemson hosted, uh, that Commodores team was loaded. And Tim Corbin, <clears throat> you know, who worked under Jack Leggett, the former head coach of Clemson, who's in the dugout with Eric Backage this year. Uh, th that Vanderbilt team was loaded. They had Kyle Wright, pitcher for the Atlanta Braves. Uh, so th th that team was really good. I don't know if this Tennessee team is the kind of number two seed that profiles like them. Are the Vols very talented? Yes, they're very talented. You think back to the start of the season, and Tennessee was a top five team in, in college baseball. They were top, top two or three, depending on uh, the rankings and the polls. But then the regular season started, and Tennessee wasn't as good. You know, they, they got out the gate slow, lost their first couple games in the uh, – in the early regular season, uh, non-conference slate, uh, you go back through the, the SEC schedule. They got swept by Missouri, who didn't make the tournament. Uh, they lost two or three to LSU, two or three to uh, Florida at home, uh, two really good teams that are top eight seeds. Uh, Arkansas as well. They lost uh, all three games in Fayetteville. Uh, so they didn't really beat any of the upper echelon teams. So they got to Vanderbilt. Now, Vanderbilt, who is the, the SEC champions, they did take all three of them, and that turned their season around a little bit and had the Vols potentially eyeing a host spot themselves, but they just didn't quite finish. Um, you know, lost to Georgia, lost two games to Georgia after a seven-game SEC win streak. 
They did take two or three from Kentucky, another host site. Uh, they took two or three from South Carolina, another host site. But then they got to the SEC tournament really needing to advance and do something there, and they lost to Texas A&M in the um, playing game. So they didn't even reach the double elimination. They got knocked out in the single elimination field. Uh, but the Vols, I mean, still a scary team. I mean, I, I, I don't want to pretend like uh, this is going to be a cakewalk for the Clemson Tigers and there's nothing to worry about here. I, it is a good team. I'm not sure they profile the way that some of the other teams that I've seen come through Clemson have uh, in, in some past years. But uh, a team that can hit, clearly, uh, you know, you, you think Tennessee, uh, you think about this program, what they've been doing. Offense is a big Big part of that. Jared Dickey, one of the best hitters in the country, hitting 343 on the season, got 12 home runs, got a couple other guys in, in double digits. Christian Moore with 13, Griffin Merritt with 17, Blake Burke with 15, and Zane Denton with 12. So it is a team that can get the long ball going. Uh, you you got to think, depending on how they want to play. Now they're playing Charlotte in the nightcap on Friday, and Charlotte's a team they played before. Clemson's played before. I'll be one of the 49ers. Uh, on both of these two teams. So you got to wonder if they're, if they're going to maybe go with Drew, Drew Beam. Um, they could go chase Dollander. I, I just wonder if they're going to try to to maybe hold Andrew Lindsay, who's probably been their most consistent uh, starting pitcher, at least in the last uh, recent weeks uh, for maybe a meeting, a showdown with the Clemson Tigers. Uh, but Clemson's got to get past Lims Limscombe first. Uh, this is a Limscombe team that I think is one that, um, Profiles, you know, pretty well. I mean, they, they won the Ace Sun. Uh, they sort of rolled through there. They, they did, I think they lost their first game in the uh, conference tournament, uh, in, in, in their conference tournament. And then they got really on a on a really nice hot streak. Um, it's a team that, you know, I think Clemson is going to have to be very, very careful about from a long ball perspective. Uh, I don't know if anybody in the country, I, I haven't looked this up. I don't have the stats right in front of me, but. I don't know if anybody in the country boasts two guys or very many teams in the tournament boasts two guys with 20-plus home runs. That's right. They got two of them. Austin Kelly with 21, and Alex Vergara also has 21 homers. That is a lot. Uh, it's been a big season for hitting the deep ball, and this is a team that can certainly do that. So we're going to keep an eye here uh, as we go throughout the week, previewing this series. we got to give Limsicum some some attention, and, and, and certainly uh, it's, an, it's an opponent that I, I would suggest respecting when it comes to the matchup on Friday at one. Uh, but their team, as I said earlier, they lost their first game in the A-Sun, <clears throat> excuse me, to Liberty, and then they went and lost another game to Florida Gulf Coast, and they went on a run after that and knocked off Florida Gulf Coast 12-6 to uh, to capture the, the A-Sun. So they are um, – their team to – I think to be reckoned with a little bit here. Uh, we'll see how they stack up. Uh, pitching wise, and then Charlotte, as I mentioned earlier, a team that I think a lot of people, uh, both uh, with Clemson and Tennessee, are familiar with. Uh, it's a Charlotte team that beat South Carolina uh, two games earlier in the season. Uh, they did lose to the Tigers uh, earlier in the year, uh, nine to five, and it's still a pretty pretty solid team coming down here. Overall, I, I think it's a balanced regional. I think there could be some fireworks, see some balls leaving the yard uh, with a lot of home run hitters. Uh, but you got to think early on right now, Clemson, with the, as hot as they've been, the way that this team has not only just been relentless offensively, and they are, they are just, they come at you in waves, inning after inning. It's just like they're never out of it. They're always going to put guys on base. They're always going to put pressure on pitchers. I, I think that bodes very well for winning this regional. But it's the pitching that's complemented that. And I don't think the pitching is lights out. I don't think Clemson has the best staff in the country by far. I'm not. Even, we'll see if they have the best staff in this regional, but I do think that their their pitching staff understands what the offense can do. They let the defense play behind them. I like Clemson's chances um, to come out of this regional again. Friday, 1 p.m. Doug Kingsmore Stadium, allclemsontigers.com. All four staff members are going to be there. We're going to be crushing the coverage all week. We've got uh, Jason Priester coming up tonight with Monday Live at 7 p.m. Make sure you tune in to that and he'll answer any questions you got about this regional about this draw and about his experience up in Durham where the Clemson Tigers captured that ACC baseball championship uh, on on Sunday so make sure you stay tuned in here again please hit us up with the subscribe with the like with the comment we're gonna have coverage for you all week here on all Clemson uh, YouTube channel 
And we certainly want you to go over to allclemsontigers.com and read a lot more about Clemson's opponents. Quick show. Want to let you know what's going on with the regional. And hope you have a great week. Look forward to seeing you out at the ballpark. Take care.